Welcome to KMIR Sports. I'm Julie Bueller, and my oh my, what a difference a few minutes can make. Just moments ago, the Dodgers tied game one of the National League Championship Series against the Cubs in Chicago. But, ladies and gentlemen, the game had not gone their way up to that eighth inning. In fact, the Dodgers really faced a predicament. They needed all five games to decide their series against the Nationals, and an extraordinary effort from their bullpen. Meanwhile, the Cubbies, well, they got to throw their top ace on the mound. Let's get you to the early highlights to see what was happening in the game. You had John Lester on the mound for the Cubs and Chris Bryant, the Umberkint for the Cubbies, nails a shot to the left field, scores Dexter Fowler, and the Cubs take a 1 0 lead. The Dodgers had multiple opportunities to get some base runners to cross the plate. They had the same problem against the Nationals. They couldn't score. In fact, they didn't score until the fifth inning. Andre Ether hit a solo home run. But as it just happened, in fact, somebody's got to do it, Angela and Vincent. I was watching this game as you guys are doing the news. It was very exciting. In the top of the eighth with two out, Adrian Gonzalez tied the game at three with a two out, two RBI single off Araldis Chapman. And it was quite the remarkable shot. And now it's tied at three. So we'll find out what happens. Full highlights at 11. Now on to college football and what might be the preview of the SEC championship. The top-ranked Crimson Tide of Alabama squared off with the ninth-ranked Volunteers. And ladies and gentlemen, this was not close at any point. The difference between the Crimson Tide and every other team in the nation is incredible. They won 49-10. to Meanwhile, the Pac-12, I'll tell you what, it's a wild year. Utah is atop the South, and Washington is unbeaten atop the North. Utah beat Oregon State. There you see the cheerleaders there. Speaking of Washington and Washington State, how about the Cougars? They're right behind the Huskies battling UCLA tonight. We'll have highlights from that game a little later on. But Palm Springs High School's standout player, number 22, you saw him catch reception there, Damian Lee. He is committed to the up and coming Washington State Cougars program. He also helped his Indians land a 31 10 win over Palm Desert last night. The Rattlers scored a huge win at home over 29 Palms, 38 3 the final there. Coachella Valley handed Yucca Valley their first loss of the season, 41 23 in that final. And then, of course, Xavier Prep lost in. Indio and Indio snapped a league losing streak of 24 games, their first league win since 2011 with that narrow victory. Angela, Vince, it was a great night of football last night. Some incredible stuff tonight. Full highlights at 11. Beautiful. I'm a little excited about this stuff. I don't know if you noticed. I was going to make a prediction for the Dodger game, but I thought, you know what? Better not do that. Well, yeah, there's a lot of uh, baseball yet to be played, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah, really fast, my alma mater won big today against Sacramento State University, Montana. Woo! Big sky. Big Boom. sky stuff. Yeah. We love it. <laughs>